Hi guys and welcome to another video. I've had a few queries regarding what this orange item is here on the side of the motherboard. Uh, so I thought I'd just uh, explain it to you. So here goes. So in the Prusa box um, printable parts there is this vent. It's designed to go under the motherboard to give ventilation. Uh, obviously you need the Prusa box, the, the newer ones that have got the square hole underneath the motherboard in the actual uh, casing. If you've got one of the earlier ones, I don't believe they actually have that hole. So this unfortunately wouldn't apply to you. But the idea is that uh, you've, you've got the hole there, sits over the vent to allow uh, cooling air to percolate to the motherboard. Uh, I've, I haven't used this original design, I've designed my own. It's basically the same sort of thing, but it's got a, a sweeping side. Let's have a closer look. We've still got the almost original part here. It feeds air to the bottom of the motherboard. Uh, it actually hooks in underneath. And then we've got a side here which is allowing air to flow over the back of the circuit board. One difference is this is fan assisted. I've got a 40 millimeter 12 volt fan in the bottom of this. And when uh, my thermostat clicks in to control the main extractor, it also triggers the 40 millimeter cooling fan. I can independently switch off the, the main extractor, so if the thermostat switches on, it will just switch on this fan. So if you're, for example, doing ABS, uh, just this fan will be on, it's going to cool the motherboard, but you're not going to have lots of hot air taken out with the main extractor. And I don't think the, the air flow from this small 40mm fan is going to affect an ABS print regarding drafts. It is quite a, a small amount of air that is moved, but it's just enough to percolate air up and through. This is the underside of the enclosure, just off of my desk. And you can see, hopefully, the fan. And there is a little grate there that I've printed as well. Uh, so the fan's held in with four bolts, and you can see the fan blades there. So I've just taken the vent out so you get a better idea of the shape see this lip goes just inside the lip underneath the motherboard it is a tight squeeze um, there is space a lot of space for the all the various cables to come out you've got all lots of cables here and there is the fan hopefully you can see that uh, four bolts in a little cut out for the cable there um, and that's a that's a 12 volt fan you you could use a 5 volt fan if you want again it's up to you how you want to wire it in but as the uh, ex main extractor is, is 12 volts as well I have them both wired in to the uh, temperature sensor etc and this is the little little grate that I've done this really is a finger guard really uh, that goes underneath and then you can pop some bolts through uh, there's spaces for square nuts as well so that gets secured on and again square nuts inside that will um, allow the fan to be bolted on so that's what this is when you've seen it in other videos it's purely for cooling so you've got cold air coming up directly under the motherboard and some cold air coming up the side to cool the side there so again it's not a particularly necessary item you you can just leave the the small hatch if you want uh, i just wanted a, a bit more cool air when i'm printing um high temperature prints to cool the motherboard. 
and it, it's a slight variation as you can see on the original that Julian created with Prusa Box. But again, I've designed that from scratch. So I hope that was useful for you. Uh, now you know what that item is. Uh, if you like this video, please do a like and subscribe. That would be really kind. Uh, and I will have some more videos for you very shortly. Thank you very much.